and then an E. Oh, yeah. Jean and Kathy Norris Wilhelm have been together 22 years. Jean started forgetting things, but it took two years of neurological testing to get an Alzheimer's diagnosis. When asked if she misses the math classroom where she taught for 18 years. I did, but now um, a lot of it has gone away from me. Can you tell me more details about this event? Um, tell me everything that you can remember. A recently completed study at the University of Arizona showed that what's called an autobiographical memory test may show who's at risk. Neuropsychologist Matt Grilly and his team tested how vividly participants could describe past events. It relies on a number of uh, regions uh, to be coordinated uh, and to sort of work together. Gurley tested two groups of cognitively normal people. Those in one group have a gene that increases risk for Alzheimer's and they had a harder time remembering detail. It does tell us that uh, this sort of type of memory testing has promise as a uh, new way of, um, of trying to pick up on early signs of uh, Alzheimer's disease. Kathy is excited that this inexpensive, non-invasive screening could get more people an early diagnosis. I think having something like this, it's critical because the sooner that you can get a diagnosis, you can prepare for it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.